Okay, Dr. Wallach, I'd like to talk about erectile dysfunction. Um, okay. I, I, believe that, I believe it's some sort of deficiency. I don't have any uh, cardiac issues or haven't been injured. Okay. Sure. And I'm 65. Okay. Well, let I me jump to into know. that. Sure. Well, ED, erectile dysfunction, is extremely common in today's world, it, it, and it's been generated. You know, Grandpa didn't have a problem with this, but it's been generated and initiated because of misinformation by the medical community and the government. Okay. Um, it usually starts out as low hormones, low testosterone, low T, and it graduates uh, into um, ED, erectile dysfunction, because testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and adrenal hormones are part of a hormone group called steroid hormones. They're 95% by weight. Listen to me here, Leonard. They're 95% by weight cholesterol. Okay? Now, one of the biggest reasons for being low in cholesterol is listening to your doctor and giving up cholesterol-containing foods, taking statin drugs, using uh, margins instead of butter, using oils instead of saturated fats. Uh, you're using uh, things like um, margin instead of, I said margin instead of butter and so on, and egg beaters instead of eggs and white, uh, what is it, egg white omelets instead of whole egg omelets and so on. Okay. Now, uh, Charmaine, you there? I'm here. What's one of the biggest reasons for malabsorption? Let's say you're eating plenty of cholesterol. What's one of the biggest reasons for not absorbing cholesterol? Because you have a gluten intolerance and it's tearing up your intestinal wall. That's right. And, and cholesterol is a very big, complex molecule, difficult to absorb under ideal circumstances. But if you're eating gluten, wheat, barley, and oats, wheat, barley, and oats, and who told you to eat wheat, barley, and oats? Of course, there's some health food nut. Okay, some hippies said, oh, whole grains are good for you, and then the doctors picked up on that, and they told you to stay away from cholesterol, and they put you on cholesterol-lowering drugs. Okay, uh, Char, uh, before we went to that uh, information break, um, uh, what would you do for uh, a diet that's going to help uh, maximize absorption of proper nutrients, and what would you give as a supplement uh, program to support healthy sex life? Okay, they got to get on a gluten-free diet, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, and they also have to eat a lot of eggs and butter. And as far as supplements, uh, like a healthy start pack or healthy brain and heart pack and vitamin D3, and then for a man, you could take some zero test. That would help. Okay, yep, perfect. You know, you, you, you get an A-plus, dear. And um, uh, basically, the sh- is quite correct, Leonard. And I, I prefer to use a, a, you know, the biggest hammer in the toolbox, so to speak, and so I would go with the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. If somebody has ED, I'd go with the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. Um, um, let's see here, one of those per 100 pounds of body weight per month. And um, then, of course, uh, the Zera Test, two or three of those tablets twice a day. It'll be two bottles a month. And then the um, uh, male hormone support from the Good Herbs, male hormone support from Good Herbs, two doses a day of that. And then I'd go ahead with, uh, say, four to six eggs, um, twice a day per 100 pounds of body weight. They can be put into one of our protein shakes. Don't forget that stick of butter a day, uh, but the eggs are important. The yolks have to be soft so you don't damage the cholesterol. And we're talking um, uh, soft boiled with soft yolks, soft poached with soft yolks, soft scrambled in butter. No oils, no frying, no over easy, none of that kind of stuff because you, you, no hard boiled because the yolk has to be soft and runny to preserve the cholesterol, which is the raw material. It doesn't matter how good a genes you have. Uh, if you're a guy, you still need that cholesterol for the testicles to make testosterone. If you're a lady, um, you have to have that cholesterol for your ovaries to make estrogen and progesterone. All right? And so this is a, a problem that's easily dealt with, and uh, we deal with this. We've been doing this commercially for 45 years. We deal with this all the time. It always works because you give the body what it needs. The body has the capacity to do what it needs to do.